Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. Today I'm doing another experiment. Why? Because the last experiment shooting landscapes with a 50mm lens, it, it felt different, it felt good doing something different. Today I want to do again something different. I don't know how much different but it's going to be different. The idea is to go and shoot landscapes of course i have a point where the access it's pretty easy it's just this steep and when you reach the top you almost reached the place uh, from where i'm going to shoot the sunset got the tripod in the car. <laughs> it's a photo experiment that starts really well. So again, hiking up on the hill with my tripod this time. Have I told you this is pretty steep? So the experiment is pretty simple. I want to try and see if using my old Canon 50D with my current lens and accessories. Canon 50D is a camera that was launched in 2008, in the autumn of 2008. And I just want to see if my current knowledge of photography can help me produce really interesting photos just by using a really, really old camera. Remember after the 50D came the 60D, the 70D, and then the 80D. I also have the 60D and the 80D. I have a passion for this series, it seems that. Today I'm using the, let me see. Today I'm using the 17 to 40 millimeter lens and the 24 to 105 on my crop sensor body. Canon 50D. I don't like using this wire remote control. I don't like how it connects. I'm so used to using infrared, but this is not available on Canon 50D. But we'll uh, we'll just have to use this this thing that I I really really don't like. It's very useful if you want to do time lapses and your camera doesn't have that built-in feature, but I really don't like it. As you can see on my face, the light is starting to become really warm and that reddish tint that you have during sunset is becoming to it's becoming alive. I see some smoke in the distance and my position relative to the sun and to smoke, to the smoke makes me makes that smoke really visible. So I'm going to try and uh, and and shoot that with the with the 105 mm. I'm looking at the first image that I shot and 
it has a really low contrast. Uh, I know this because the histogram is concentrated in only one part of the of the entire histogram. So uh, I can't see too much detail. I already see some drawbacks from the current technology. I will have to see on the computer and you will also judge these images um, as you will see them. So I'm expecting your comments, I'm expecting your thoughts on this. We'll see what the final result is going to be. You know that I really like the sound of this of this camera. I don't know, it's it it sounds powerful. It sounds so nice. And this this wheel over here, it it's so nice. It has a nice feeling when you turn it. In in uh, in the newer cameras, this is kind of soft. This 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 wheel over here, but in this one, you can really feel that you are doing something. So just just judging by the feel of the camera, it feels it feels good. Another thing that I've noticed is that I'm having trouble focusing where normally I wouldn't have any any problem. So the focus system in this camera it's you can see it's from 2008 and you can see that there are new advancements a mosquito. <laughs> there are new advancements of technology that really help you. Another thing is that, is at least from what I'm seeing on the screen of the camera, is the dynamic range. It's it's less powerful than the new the new versions, the new cameras. But either way, the experiment is fun. It's it's a fun way to see and to appreciate how things evolve and in what world we are living in, where 2008 technology it's really old and outdated, or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe the results will be will be interesting. It, it's, you can't judge the photos from what you see on the back of your camera. You need to get home, place them on a computer, look at them on the big screen, and edit them and see what you can do with those photos. But it's nice. Ah, it's nice to be out there. Hey, this could be an interesting an interesting picture. Let me take my... Okay, we'll see. Move a little bit because I want to include that tree over there in my photos. See if something interesting comes from that framing. Really hard to do things with only one hand. But I manage. Okay. Have to be extra careful not to lose this remote control. This looks this this looks also nice. More pictures. a small break just to let the sun and let the light uh, evolve to another stage but what I can tell you up until now is that I really really like the, the build quality of the 50D as I said everything everything seems seems cool and the sound the sound is great uh, of the shutter but in terms of quality I, I really don't know I will not record at home. I don't want to record my opinion after I'm seeing the photos on the screen. We will talk in comments and we will, uh, we will see. I can't wait to see uh, the, the, the results, what, what the photos look like. <sighs> A lot of mosquitoes over here. 
from what I'm seeing on the on the back screen of the camera, it's not it's not that good. I'm used to see another quality, but we'll just have to wait and see. I think this experiment it's over right now and what I can say there are two main things I really like the build quality of this camera but I really like the advancement in technology and dynamic range and sharpness uh, and the really low noise in the in the new technology so this is my opinion right now we will judge together the quality of the photos and depending on what you what we are seeing together we will establish if this is is a camera worth worth uh, having uh, at least for a beginner or not so uh, yeah let me know in comments below what you think uh, keep on photographing it's the only way that you can get better and if you're new here please consider subscribe to this youtube channel until next time bye bye